Hello guys, my name is Sonal Patil. I work with Think Ocean Software Private Limited as a trainer. And today we're gonna get introduced to a UI trending technology that is nothing but a React JS. So let's have a look on the syllabus that we will be having look in the today's session. So very first we'll start with the introduction to the React. So we'll have a look what is the introduction of React, why it came and when it came, the history of React. Say so why we have to learn this React technology and features of React, advantages of React. We'll see what are the, those applications in the market in the market available and those are built using this React JS technology. And prerequisites for learning this React and last but not the least, this is nothing but mini applications. So let's start with introduction to the React. So very first thing is introduction to React. React JS is a JavaScript library for building this UI. Now what is this UI? UI is nothing but user interfaces. And what is in user interfaces? Whatever currently now you all people are seeing onto your screens, that is nothing but user interface. So when you want to display some content to the user and how you want to display to the user, that is nothing but user interface, right? So React technology is specifically used for building this UI interfaces. So basically user interfaces, React knows only one thing that create an awesome user interfaces. Right. So React JS is a new technology when compared with the other technologies in the market because Angular is there and UI technology is also there. But React is a new technology in the market. So it come into existence in the 2011 and React JS is founded by Facebook. React is a JS library for building UI and it is not a framework. So keep in mind guys. React.js is a JavaScript library. It is not a framework. React knows only one thing that create an awesome UIs. So let's have a look on the next thing. That is nothing but history. So basically it was introduced or designed by Jordan Valke, which were a, a part of a Facebook team and he was working as a software developer or software engineer. He introduced a React.js in Facebook's news feed around 2011. So it came in the existence in 2011. But in 2013, React was open source at JS conference. So it becomes the open source and can be used by any one of us that after the year 2013. Let's have a look on why we should learn React. So there are three reasons why we should learn First, it is created and maintained by Facebook. So as you all know, it is created and maintained by Facebook. That means each one of us is now having an account on the Facebook. So Facebook is popular in world in the world, right? So it, it is really good thing to have a technology to work with the technology that is created by such a popular uh, platform. So basically it is created and maintained by Facebook team. So it is good to learn React. So second reason is it has huge community on GitHub. So there are so many projects available that on the GitHub that are built using this React technology. So basically whenever you are met up with the problem, whenever you are going to met up with the errors, in that case, you can simply paste your errors onto the Google and you will definitely meet up with the solutions by GitHub. So definitely it has huge community on GitHub. So that this is the second reason why we should learn React. 30. It is having a component based architecture. Now what is this component based architecture is your website will be divided into some parts and those parts are nothing but your components. So whenever you want to reuse any part in that case you can reuse the component and basically you are going to save time writing of writing the code and as well as the memory. So basically your react is having component based architecture which makes your code reusable so this is the third reason why we should learn react now we'll see the next thing that is nothing but features of react so very first is it uses virtual dom now i hope many of you are aware of the concept of called dom dom stands for document object model now what is this document object model is it will convert your html page or html document to your objects because your website or your browsers supports only the javascripts and whatever thing we are going to write that is nothing but your react so how that react code is 
going to be rendered on the browser that is nothing but your DOM. So in normal applications if you are dealing with the angular if you are dealing with view if you are dealing with a javascript application in that case you will be having the concept of dom directly instead of that react js uses this virtual dom concept okay now i'll just go some brief into this virtual dom concept so basically what happens is for each request suppose if i'm going to change some content in that case whatever content you have changed for that one single change your full DOM in normal applications your full DOM will be re-rendered and it will be recreated so it is going to be time consuming part so instead of that what if I use this virtual DOM concept virtual DOM concept have two DOMs with it two exact copy of DOMs in that whatever changes you are going to make that will be reflected first into your virtual DOM and then those reflected changes Suppose I have total 10, 10 lines and that I have made change only in the 8th line. So what I am going to do is using this virtual DOM, I will just get the content of the 8th line and I will replace it into the original DOM. So basically you are not going to recreate your full DOM structure. You are not going to replace your full DOM. You will be replacing only the content that is being changed in the virtual DOM. Right, so this is going to save our time of recreating or re rendering the actual DOM. So, the second thing is JSX, third is component based. Just now we have talked, your React is having component based architecture that makes your code reusable and your data can be reusable, reusable and your code, uh, you are saving time for typing the code again. So third, fourth thing is nothing but simplicity. So basically, it has simplicity in the React.js application. Now it increases the performance as we are using this component-based architecture. Now let's have a look on the advantages of React. So very first thing is it uses declarative approaches. Now generally we have two approaches, imperative approach and the declarative approach. Now let's try to figure it out the difference between imperative approach and the declarative approach. So imperative approach is such an approach in which you have to specify each and everything in detail and declarative approach you have to specify only the thing that you want. Let's I'll go with the example. Suppose I want to purchase a cake. In that case what I can do is I can go at a cake shop and I can say simply I want I want a cake. Let's take I want a chocolate cake. So in the declarative approach, the owner of the shop will give me a cake directly. In, in spite of this, in imperative approach, I have to specify in how much quantity uh, the chocolate should be in the cake. How much sugar has to be added into the cake and for how much time it has to be baked in the oven. So basically, Imperative approach, you have to specify each and everything. In the declarative approach, you don't have to specify each and everything. You can simply say the command, I want this things, the ready-made things you will get with. So the second thing is reusable code. So we are talking since last few minutes that the React.js is your, your, is your component-based architecture. It follows component-based architecture in that you will be having some components. You will divide your website in some parts and that is nothing but some components and you can reuse those components again and again. So basically, you are reusing the code, you are saving the time and you are saving the memory as well. Now, why reusable code is possible? Because component-based approach. Now, I'll just move ahead. DOM updates are handled gracefully. So basically, in the React, we are dealing with the concept of a virtual DOM in which we will not be directly interacting with the DOM so that DOM updates are handled gracefully because this virtual DOM concept. Now let's have a look on the next concept. The real-time applications in the real-time in the current situation in the market, those applications build using React technology. So very first is Facebook. Your Facebook itself is created using this React JS technology. Instagram, WhatsApp, your Netflix, New York Times, Dropbox and your Yahoo. 
these all applications are built using this react technology this is what it makes a need to learn new technologies which are trending in the market let's have a look on the basic requirements for the installation so you should have very first node js and it, and the ide the command has to be installed that is nothing but node js very first you should have node js installed on your system second you can use npm install minus g create hyphen react hyphen app third command you have to execute create hyphen react hyphen app the project name that you want to give so in my case i'm giving my project or you can use other way of creating the project that is nothing but npx create hyphen react hyphen app my hyphen project so my project is nothing but my project name that can give anything that you want so uh, let's talk about some ides so id is ide is nothing but let's take integrated development environment now in that case you can use any id if you want to use sublime you can go with it you can use visual studio code you can use atom it's of your choice which id you want to use for now for the sessions I, we will be using this visual studio code now let's have a look on prerequisites for learning this react js so very first you should know html css javascript fundamentals javascript fundamentals knowing them with the modern javascript approach is good in that you should know this keyword filter method map method reduce method destructuring assignments spread operators and template literals in the es6 fundamentals these all topics include in the modern javascript so you should have the knowledge of this es6 let's have a look on the flow of learning this react so very in the very basic thing we will be starting with the fundamentals of learning react so we'll start with learning the fundamentals of react then we'll have a look of this http then we'll look in the routing and the redux basically react js is such a library which is specifically designed for generating a uh, creative ui designs or creating interactive or let's say awesome uis user interfaces so these are not concerned it does not concern your routing and your http calls so in that case we have to use some other tools as well we have to include some other libraries we have to include some other modules as well now let's have a look on the mini project of react including react fundamentals and the crud operation i will be using react fundamentals uh, that is nothing but your routing routing parameter your com functional component your class component and the crud operation so the crud operation let's have a look on it crud stands for create read update and delete yeah, here create is nothing but creating your some request reading is nothing but reading that particular request updating that is nothing but if i initially i wanted to buy some item and now i turn my mind and i wanted to buy some more few items as well let's say i'm purchasing some pen initially i was purchasing only one pen now i thought of buying five pens at a time so i can make my order editable and i can update it to five now after some time i realize i don't need these pains now so i can cancel my order as well so i can delete the i can perform the delete operation right so let's have a look on the project that i have already created i'll just show you the syntax and the code that i have already created using this react js technology now you can see i have loaded this url and in that you can see welcome home page is being displayed now the moment i'm going to click on about us you can see some content is being displayed that is nothing but welcome to about us and you can see my current active tab you can see my current active tab is also highlighted in some else color as well so you can see i'm getting this about us in some green color and rest of the things is in the blue color so if i click on the contact us you can see some user details i'm getting over here some user name i'm getting over here user 1 user 2 and user 3 now if i click on the user 1 you can see some id is being displayed over here if i click on the user 2 some id is being displayed over here if i click on the user 3 some id is being displayed over here so 
this data is dynamic i, I haven't hard coded anything this is the concept called as in routing and this is the concept called as in nested routing and you can say url parameter routing right now let's have a look on this users tab first and that i have already created react simple crud application so you can see i am asking over here some name and some address and the, i have provided the submit button as well as you can see i have created it using this form to have the concept of forms you should have the you should have the knowledge of this html so i have created some form over here i am going to add some name let's take i am going to add sansa and she is from canada now let's submit the data and you can see the id is auto generated so id is being displayed as one sansa and she is from canada and you can see some remove and edit button as well so if i want to edit her name so i can simply click on edit and i can see the sansa and canada is being appeared over here now i can add her surname as well so i'm going to say sansa stark i can say submit and you can see my data is being updated so one sansa stark she is from canada you can say remove and edit now i'm going to add one more data over here let's take aya i'm going to say usa and let's take submit the data and you can see the second row is being added so i'm going to add one more thing john i'm going to add let's take he is from canada submit the data and you can see the third row is being added now to display the data i have used this table tag now you can see everything is aligned very properly and very nicely for coloring this buttons i have used bootstrap concept that we will be see seeing in the upcoming sessions so you can see if i'm going to say remove to aya let's have a look on this ids so one stands for sansa two stands for aya and three stands for john if i'm going to remove this aya in that case john's id will be two let's have a look on it so i'm going to say remove aya you can see the john's id is being updated and now it is two i hope you all guys are clear with this react project and the react introduction Let's see you in the next session.